The first stop on our beer crawl is here in St. Louis in the Grove neighborhood at Urban Chestnut. How many years ago, David, did you guys launch? It's almost been five and a half years now since Urban Chestnut's been around. And then we opened this location in the Grove in March of 2014. When we sat down, we said, really, what's our point of difference? Well, we kind of wrapped that in, in a term that we call beer divergency, which is the idea of new world and old world beer. You're delivering more than just beer to your consumers. And this building in particular was built with LEED certification. And why was that important yeah, to you guys? And that's quite a process. I mean, it's all about everything that you're doing on a sustainable front, whether it's you know low flow on the water in here, but it's a lot of things like we do with the windows, allowing natural light to flow in here from all the electricity we use and, and whatnot. Solar panels, again, on the roof here. And you have another project in the works, which is right across the street. Yes. And what's the name of it again? That's called the Urban Research Brewery, or what we call the URB for short. What we want to do with the URB, instead of you know, brewing like 60 barrel batches of, of beer here, or 20 barrels like we do in Midtown, so you said we want to brew really small batches that will allow us to experiment, allow us to throw something out if we don't like it, yeah. and then take those batches and then ha invite the customer in and actually be able to, in a very accessible way, they just go in and enter in their feedback on, uh, on, their, on their smart device, and then we have that collective feedback, and we can use, use that and help us develop the beers. So at the new URB, which is right across yep. the street, that sounds like it's going to be a playground for you. I mean, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Having a much smaller system, a two-barrel system, is going to really help with that. And I think the brewers also will enjoy that, just to be able to play a little bit more and uh, probably do three or four brews a week and try really a lot of different things. So with the Reverence and the Revolution series, the Reverence is very, you know, very classic German um, approaches to beer. So is that kind of like where your heart is or do you really enjoy more kind of the funkier stuff that you're doing? I, I don't know, I mean, I think it's fun to recreate something very classic German, English, Irish, whatever. Uh, but it's also fun to come up with something new. So from a daily drinking experience, it's probably more the classic German beers that I have after work, but um, I do enjoy our IPAs and have those fairly frequently as well. So it's a little bit of both, I guess. So which beer was the first one, like when you were starting to develop beers for Urban Chestnut, what, what was the first one that you said, yes, I know I want to serve that? I think we have Twickle on the list as, as the first one. Wingnut was, was one or two with that, but uh, I think those two probably. And the design of this space, the beer hall, is very typically German. Is that the intention for you to kind of bring some of your own personal history with beer to this place? The idea behind this, to, to create this space, was to, to create something more industrial, but with those European influences. Definitely the beer hall with the wooden tables. What has it been like for you to see this brand grow? It's sometimes a little surreal. Um, <laughs> been so busy that it, honestly we haven't had a whole lot of time to reflect on a lot of the stuff that's happened but it's uh, yeah definitely it's, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs>